Hey there friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Austin and I am a Kajabi expert and consultant. On this channel, we like to dive into all things Kajabi, marketing and growing your online business. Now this is your first time visiting my channel. I would like to welcome you to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so that you know of all of our latest videos being released as we do release lots of videos, typically at least twice a week to help you with your Kajabi. Now today I want to share with you just a little bit of information about the call to action buttons. Now that may seem like a pretty straightforward thing that we have available inside Kajabi. There's a lot of different options that we can use and there's a lot of strategies that we might put behind those call to action buttons. So I just want to share just a little bit about the call to action what you can do with them, some strategies behind them, where you can put them, and how to be most effective with your call to action buttons. So let's jump on in. Tip number one on your call to action buttons. We want to be as effective as possible with what we call the above the fold portion of your pages. Now the above the fold is essentially that part of your page that a visitor sees before they have to do anything, before they have to scroll or click anything or read anything. It's that section that they see either on their desktop or on a mobile or tablet that is right there front and center. One of the areas of your above the fold is the menu. And the menu is a great place to put a specific call to action button. And Kajabi just makes it super easy for you to do that. It sets your call to action apart and it really captures attention, especially if you use a specific color that matches your branding that is separate and stands out from your basic menu. So the way that we do that is let's jump on into this is a just a sample page that I've created in Encore and if we if you notice that up here on our header there's really we have our menu we have our user login and logo but if we go into our header we can add content and one of the content options we can do is add a call to action and what that does is it creates a really cool button up there our call to action button that we can have for our primary call to action that you want to make it super easy for people to find that action. And that can be a lead magnet, it could be an ability to email you or contact you, set an appointment, schedule a call, uh, sign up for your program, whatever it is that is the most important call to action that you want them to see when they visit that particular page. Now what we can do, of course, just like with any call to action, is that on the button itself, we can either go to a landing page, the sales page, specifically to a checkout page, download a file, go to a URL, have your two-step opt-in or a section on the page. So this is really, really versatile to allow you to be able to take them exactly where you want to be strategic on taking them by the hand and taking them on a journey of your choosing to make it super easy for them to find the solution, make a purchase, whatever it is that you want them to do. Now, here's a quick tip that was a question that I've had uh, pop up several times, both in the forums and in emails and social media content from clients and followers, is that if you want them to be able to click on the button to be able to email you, a way that we do that is go to URL, and then we change this to uh, mail to colon and then your email address. And that will, when they click the button, it will take them directly to uh, popping up an email to email you directly. So that's just kind of a handy bonus that kind of can go in there if you want to have your button to be contact us and then go through a, an email contact. Although another way to do that is that you can set this up as a two-step opt-in and then create custom fields in your form to then have them 
uh, fill out their name, their email, any other questions or pre-qualification information that you want from them, and then have an automated email that goes out to them once they set this up to say, thank you for reaching out, we'll be in contact with you, you know, that kind of thing. So that is how we set that up in our header for our call to action. Now what's really cool about Encore with our new release at the time of recording this video is shortly after Kajabi has just released the new Encore theme, we have a lot more options that we can do with this button. So one of the things we can do is of course open in a new tab, change our button color and our text color, but we can change it from solid or outline. If you notice, this is a little bit different uh, look to it with an outline versus solid we can change our button size, but the other thing we can do, which is new, is we can change the border radius. So if you want it to be more square, we take it down to zero, or I'm sorry, rectangular, I guess. And if we want it to have rounded edges, then we can take it um, all the way up to 50. So you can just kind of go with how round that you want, go with whatever works best for you. And then of course, change your button color to your your uh, brand colors here as well. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about how to customize your settings so that your uh, font color palette is customized to your brand colors, be sure to check out my video getting started uh, tips, top tips on getting started in Kajabi, where I talk about how to set up this color palette with your brand colors and customize that. Okay, so that is the basics on using that call to action button and adding it up here to the top. The other thing that we can do for a call to action that's in our header is we can add an announcement, which is a banner announcement that can have an action if they click on it. Again, landing page, sales page, checkout page, download file, and URL. Okay, so now let's go back to our call to actions in the rest of the page. So a few strategies on the rest of the page for call to actions. One, of course, is to again have a call to action here in our uh, top portion of our website, that above the fold section, so that you have it up here, but you also have something within this hero or top section of your page before they have to scroll. Because remember on mobile, this will be on a drop down type of menu, and we still want to be able to have it where it's very clear what you want them to do or to make it easy for them to click to get either opted in or register for your event or purchase what it is that you're selling. Then of course, if you're creating a sales page or a home page or something where it may have quite a few sections on here, a general rule of thumb is that you want to have that call to action about every three or four sections because we don't want them to have to continue to scroll too far before they can get to another call to action because if they're looking through this information and at any point they decide to purchase, we want to make it as easy as possible for them to actually purchase before they have to continue to scroll further. One way that we can do that, of course, is we could always on our header is we can fix the header where we can go to our desktop layout and fix it on scroll. So now you notice that as I scroll, that call to action button stays here on top, which makes it super easy for them to purchase. You do, if you, if you do that fixed on scroll, you'll have to double check your spacing on this hero image because that does uh, overlay on top of the image that you have up here. So a little bit of adjusting may be necessary on your above the fold portion of the site if you decide to go with your fixed on scroll, but it is kind of handy if you decide that you want this information to be up there for them at all times. And then of course, like I said, we don't want them to have to scroll too far before getting to the next call to action button to make it super easy for them to opt in, make a purchase or anything else like that. As part of the call to action button, of course, one of the things that I mentioned earlier is that we can have a direct download. So we can go to download the file. This is really handy if you're doing a opt-in page that then sends them to the delivery page. And so 
if you have a free lead magnet or your free offer is a document or an ebook or some type of file that they're going to download, we would then prominently put that on the delivery page or the thank you page to make it super easy for them to be able to capture that information. And then we just change our call to action to download ebook now or something like that. And then we change this to download file, pick your file and then upload the file. And the great thing is Kajabi just does the rest for you, makes it super simple, super easy. So that in a nutshell are my top tips for setting up, creating and strategizing those call to action buttons on your Kajabi pages. Now, if you're brand new to Kajabi and you're still learning all of the technology and the mindset and all of the different things that go along with building an online business, I do have other resources available for you, including the other videos on my channel, my blog at striveforsavvy.com, as well as my Kajabi mentorship program, coaching, consulting, and done for you services. If you don't have Kajabi yet and you're still thinking about it, if you check out the description that goes with this video, I do have a link to my partner link where you can get it free for a full 28 days. Plus I throw in some personal bonuses to go along with that to help you out as you're first getting started. If you are using a call to action button in a new way that you may have learned in this video or recently, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're going to try something new and feel free to check out the comment section below as well as I have a special bonus that I put in the comment section and feel free to comment if you have any other questions or if there's something specific that you would like me to do a video about in Kajabi or that you would like to learn about in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to connecting with you further as you continue to learn Kajabi and grow your online business.